Hello all, welcome to the Angular 19 tutorial by FED Learning. Angular 19 was released on November 19, 2024. And if you are already familiar with Angular 18, then you can upgrade your knowledge with my previous videos covering the new features in Angular 19. I'll share the link in the description below. The Angular team typically releases a new version every six months, each with exciting and useful features, improved stability, and enhanced application performance. Prior to Angular 16, the project structure was different. With Angular 17, we got standalone components, and that changed everything. Since then, new features has been continuously introduced. So in this tutorial, we will cover all the essential Angular concepts that every Angular developer should know. We will explore how Angular works after version 17 and implement the newly introduced feature in Angular versions 18 and 19. So this tutorial is suitable for both beginners and experienced front-end developers. And to ensure clarity, we will proceed step by step. First, we will cover the installation and project creation process and then I'll provide a brief overview of the project structure to get you started. So let's start with prerequisites for environment setup. To create a new Angular project with version 19, we need to consider these three prerequisites for installation. So first is Node.js environment. Node.js is a runtime environment that allows us to execute JavaScript code on the server side. And to get started, we need to download and install Node.js, ensuring that the version is greater than 18.19.1 as this is the minimum requirement for Angular 19. Second, we need text editor. You can choose any editor as per your wish, but I recommend Visual Studio Code Editor. Next, we need a TypeScript. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript that adds static typing to the language enabling it to catch errors and improve code quality during development. So we need to install the TypeScript version 5.6 or higher. So these three prerequisites are essential for setting up the environment for Angular 19 application. Additionally, if you are new to Angular, a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and TypeScript is recommended for better visualization of Angular concepts. Okay, so next, Let's understand project creation steps. So there are seven steps we need to follow in order to create a successful Angular application. So with this step, we will set up our environment. So the first step is we need to download and install Node.js version greater than 18.19.1 on your system. So simply type Node.js download for Windows in the browser. Click on the first link and follow the prompts to download and install the correct version for your system configuration. Okay, so let's understand the second step. We need to install the latest version of TypeScript using the command npm install g TypeScript. Also keep in mind that you don't need to install npm separately as it comes with Node.js. Since I have already installed Node.js and TypeScript on my system to save time, I'll proceed directly to the third step. And the third step is to verify the versions of Node.js, NPM, and TypeScript using the command node space hyphen v, npm space hyphen v, and tsc space hyphen v. And here you can see that I have the required versions installed on my system. So let's move on to the next step. And fourth step is we need to install Angular using command npm install hyphen g at the rate angular slash cli, which will install the latest version of Angular that is 19. And fifth step is we need to check the Angular version with command ng space v. And here you can see I have already installed the latest version of Angular that is Angular 19. Now our environment setup is complete and we are ready to create a new Angular application. So let's proceed to the sixth step, creating a new Angular project. And to do this, we will use command ng space new space project name. So here, ls ng space new space project name, Angular 19 tutorial. And once you press enter, you will be prompted to select the CSS format. I'll choose SCSS, enter, next, 
Angular team will ask if you want to enable server side rendering. Since server side rendering is now stable, you can choose to enable it by pressing Y for yes or N for no. So here I'll choose S yes because Angular 19 introduces a feature called incremental hydration, which requires server side rendering. And enter. And again, Angular will ask Would you like to use the server routing and app engine API? I'll type Y for yes and enter. And now, after making this selection, the Angular project creation command will create a basic project and install the necessary node modules from NPM packages. Here you can see the message installing packages. So just wait until completion. And once the project is created, we will open it in Visual Studio Code Editor. Now here you can see the message package installed successfully and successfully initialized Git. It means our project has been created successfully. Now, let me open this project in Visual Studio Code. And to do this, we can either import the project folder directly into Visual Studio Code, like here, File, Open Folder, and select your folder from here. Click on Select Folder. So either you can open your Angular project from Visual Studio Code, or you can open the command prompt in the folder path. Like here, go inside your project here, cmd, and use command code space dot enter. Here you can see our project is opened in Visual Studio Code Editor. And finally, our seventh and last step is to run Angular project using command ngs, where s stands for so. Here, let me open terminal with control plus back tick, and here I'll type command ngs to run this project okay now you can open a browser on localhost 4200 here you can see the default ui for angular 19 application so till now we have completed our environment setup after that we have created a new angular project in version 19 and we successfully ran this project using command ngs now Let's take a closer look at the Angular 19 project structure. So this time I am going to talk on main and important files and folders of the Angular 19 project structure. And for beginners, if you want to understand each file in detail, please check out my another video where I have provided a detailed explanation of each and every file and folder. So now let's focus on only important files of this project. The first and important folder of Angular project is node modules folder, which is essential for running your Angular application. So don't try to run your project before install node modules, as this folder contains all the dependencies required to run the Angular application. Like here you can see inside Angular folder, you can find all the dependencies related to CLI, common, compiler, compiler CLI, core, forms, etc. And we need all these dependencies in order to run Angular project. So without this node module folder, we cannot run any Angular project. Okay, and this is the default project structure generated by the command ng space new space project name. And to run this project, we need to compile several files starting with package.json file. And as you can see here, package.json file is a JSON file that contains script and dependencies and this is the default script but we can modify as needed and under this package.json file you will find two types of dependencies dependencies and dev dependencies so first we'll talk on dependencies what are these dependencies so these are the entries for dependencies used in your project such as animation common compiler core etc with version 19 and this also indicates that this project is running on version 19. Okay. Next, you can see here dev dependencies. These dependencies are used for local development only. For example, if you need bootstrap or Angular material for development, then they would fall under dependencies. On the other hand, if you need Jasmine and Karma for testing, then they would be listed under dev dependencies. 
Okay. So inside this package.json file, we can find the version of Angular project and we can find the script and dependencies. So next, let's examine the angular.json file. So as you know, any project or application, there should be a configuration file. Similarly, this angular.json file serves as the configuration file for our Angular project. And this file contains all the project settings and linkages. And an Angular application is a single page application. Only one HTML file is rendered in the browser when the project is run. And this file is called as index.html file. In the angular.json file, you can see the linking of the index.html file here on line number 21. Let me go inside index.html file. You can find this file inside src folder. Here is index.html file. And inside this file, you can see the app root tag or selector, which calls the app component. Here, you can see if you go inside app component.ts file, here you can see the selector of this app component is app root. And this selector is used inside index.html file. It means this app component represents our entire Angular project. Okay, so in the angular.json file, you can also see the main.ts file. And this file serves as the starting point of any Angular application. Whenever an Angular application starts, this is the first file that gets executed. And you can find this file under the src folder here, main.ts file. And inside main.ts file, you can see that it bootstraps to the app component. And app component is the root component of any Angular application. Whenever we create a new project, we get a default app component. And inside this SRC folder, you will find the app folder. So in future, if you create any component, then that component consists of four files, HTML, CSS, TypeScript, and spec.ts file for testing. But in this app folder, we are getting four more files. We will come to this file soon. Okay, so coming back to main.ts file, and you can see this file also bootstraps to app config, which serves the same purpose as app module in earlier Angular versions. If you remember, before Angular version 16, we use app module instead of this app config. The key difference is that app module is a module whereas app config is a TypeScript file. Here you can see app config.ts file. We also have app.routes.ts file, which we can use for routing purpose. And before Angular 17, we used the app routing.module.ts file. But now we use the app.routes.ts file. So these are the important files inside the app folder. And outside the app folder, we have seen the purpose of index.html file main.ts file and next important file is style.css file. This file is used for global CSS styles, allowing us to write common CSS code for the entire project. Okay, so outside this src folder, we have seen the purpose of angular.json file as well as package.json file. And I think we have covered all the important files and folder which any Angular developer should know. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for our next video where we will dive into the world of Angular components. We will cover standalone components, including how to create and render them in the browser and explore their practical usage. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to FAD Learning for more informative content. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.